Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm a registered nurse here at the Mays Cancer Center. My loved one's name is Jessica, and she was diagnosed last year with cervical cancer stage four. Our journey started in New Mexico. We're both nurses and we were hiking and she just started getting kind of short of breath and had a little line on her arm that she had pointed out to me. And so we went to go get that checked out and it turned out to be a blood clot in her arm. And the ER doctor kept asking the question, why? And so that kind of directed us, we ended up coming back from New Mexico where we were on assignment and arriving here in San Antonio where we ended up getting diagnosed at the hospital with um, cervical cancer after surgery. When the doctor came out from doing surgery on Jess and told me that she had cancer and that it was advanced, I remember sitting there with him. And as a nurse, I'm used to sitting with doctors frequently. And I remember looking at her doctor and saying, well, just four days ago, I was working beside you. And now you're giving me a really hard diagnosis. And that moment was the defining moment for me. And that was when I decided that I was going to do everything in my power to make sure that she lived and from that moment on, my life changed. We spent 28 days in the hospital. Prior to cancer, she was a very calm spirit. Um, we enjoyed hiking, going places. She was definitely someone that you could talk to about anything. She's definitely stronger than, than she was before in so many different ways. I think cancer causes a fear that doesn't ever go away. And it changes your view and your outlook on life. And I think that's definitely happened with us. We tend to enjoy every moment that we have together more now. As a caregiver, I think that my journey has been beside her and it's been similar. I have had every emotion that can be experienced from fear to anger, resentment, hope, um, loss. I think every emotion, joy, it's been a struggle to put my needs at the forefront because I feel like her needs are greater than mine right now. I think one of the biggest challenges of being a caregiver was watching her being overwhelmed by what the doctors were saying and because she was overwhelmed, not understanding where she was in the process and then having to re-explain that to her again and to explain to family members and friends where we were in the process. Throughout this journey, um, Jessica has had to receive chemotherapy multiple rounds and multiple radiation therapies. And the radiation therapy was done here at, at Mays. Um, and here at Mays was the first time that we had felt peace throughout this entire process. As a result, I'm now working here and Jessica has now received her no evidence of disease and she is now three months with no evidence of disease. Spiritual health for us has been a key element. Um, we had a prayer group that started right away and without their prayers and without God and without God directing our doctors, our healthcare providers, our nurses, our aides, our lab, everyone who is involved without God touching them, there is no way that we would be sitting here with a no evidence of disease today. And so every bit of credit goes to God.